Sun, konnichiwa. Do you know what the six WH question words are in English? Would you like to review how to make WH questions? My name is Jen, and today we're going to talk about how to make questions. First, let's review what are the WH questions in English. The WH question words are who, what, when, where, why, and how. Who. This question is used when the answer will be a person. Who are you? I'm Jen. What? This question is used when the answer will be an object, idea, or an action. What do you do? I'm a teacher. When? This question is used when you want to know the time or date that something is happening or has happened. When will you upload the new Jen's Jugyo video? I'll upload new Jen's Jugyo videos every Monday for beginner level students and every Friday for intermediate to advanced level students. Where? This question is used if you want to know a place or location. Where do you live? I live in Toronto. Why? Why is used if you want to know the reason for something. Why are you smiling? I'm smiling because people are watching this video and improving their English. How? This question can be used many different ways. How can someone improve their English? You can improve your English by practicing and having fun. Most importantly, don't be afraid of making mistakes. And now, let's take a look at how to make WH questions in English. Surprisingly, it is very simple to make WH questions in English as long as you follow the proper formula. It's a little bit like math, okay? So what I like to do is I remember Q, A, S, M. This stands for the question word, the WH question words that we just looked at. A stands for the auxiliary verb. I am the auxiliary verb. Auxiliary verb means a helping verb. Help me, help me, I will help you. In English, there are four main types of auxiliary verbs, okay? The first type of auxiliary verb is the B verb and all of the different ways you will see the B verb. M, R, is, was, and were. Okay. The second type of auxiliary verb that you can find is do. Do, does, and did. The third auxiliary verb that you will usually see is have. So has, have, or had. The fourth type of auxiliary verb that you will usually find is modal verbs, such as will, can, could, would, should, must, might, and may. So that's Q, A. The S stands for subject. It's a noun or a pronoun. Finally, the M. The M stands for the main verb in the sentence. I am the main verb. In a question, I need help. So, for example, Where do you live? Live is the main verb. Do is the auxiliary verb. Let's take a look at a couple examples of each. How much does this orange cost? How much does this orange cost? Where are you going? Where are you going? What did you do on the weekend? What did you do on the weekend? How many countries has he visited? How many countries has he visited? When can I meet you? When can I meet you? Why did you call me? Why did you call me? How long have you studied English? How long have you studied English? What do you usually eat for lunch? What do you usually eat for lunch? Who will come to my party? Who will come to my party? Last WH question that you could hear who will come to my party might have seemed a bit confusing because in that question there was no subject because I don't know who, right? Who wants to come to my party? Who will help me? Who, if I don't know who the subject is, I'm using who. So in that case, 
you don't have an actual subject. Now, one other point that I want to mention is that many times when we use the be verb, am, are, is, was, or were, we don't need a main verb. Okay? The verb is just the be verb. What is your favorite color? Where are you from? Okay? Those two questions don't have a main verb. They're just using the auxiliary verb. So when you're using the be verb, be careful. Be verb, be careful. The last thing I want to mention is we reviewed WH questions today. What if you want to ask a yes or no question? Well, since you know the formula QASM, it's quite simple. To make a yes or no question, all you do is take away the WH question word and you will have your auxiliary verb, your subject, and your main verb. So, for example, do you want to eat dinner together? Does he like chocolate? Will you come to my party? Now that you can make WH questions, making yes or no questions should be that much easier. And now it's time for question of the day. For today's question of the day, what I want you to do this time is make three of your own WH questions. That's right. So in the comments below, please write three WH questions for me and I will answer them for you. Okay? So let me know your questions for me in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching this video. Mina, thank you. Gambate ne. Jane. I must ask you a question. Mustache? Must ask? Get it? <laughs> Maybe. Today, for the bonus, what I want to tell you is being able to ask someone WH questions will make your conversation so much better. So please try asking WH questions to people when you're having conversations with them in English. <laughs>